Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome in Coding Writer for World. We are working on the Coding Writer for so that's why we are creating some videos, some useful videos so you guys can easily understand. Okay, uh, we have discussed about the several topics from the Query Builder and and today we are going to discuss about the insert and also the insert bash method in Query Builder. Okay, uh, so let's continue. This is the having. I am going to come in, copy and come in this one so you can easy. I am going to come in this one so you can easily get the code. Now I am saying, and now in this time, if I say that builder select. S I D S name builder. We have the cat, but before get, I'm saying builder order by order by it takes two parameters S I D and I'm saying. D E S C descending. So go to the page, refresh the page. As you can see, it's showing you the results, but in the descending order. So now this is the fourth ID. This is the third ID. Third ID. Because we are using the ascending, you can also use the A S C ascending. By default, it's uh, ascending. So don't worry about it. If you use the limit. Builder, if I say the only show me the one result limit equals to one, so it will give you the one result. Okay, now I'm going to come in all the code. And now I am going to start the insert section. How can you insert the value? I have an uh, associative array. I'm saying uh, the user. This is the associative array. It takes few parameters. Make sure this is the associative array. Now I'm saying the S ID is the auto increment. Make sure you don't need to insert that record. S name, subject, age, and S state. I'm saying S name equals to uh, X Y there because it's an integer string fields. Now copy these bad boys. Now I'm saying S subjects. Now I'm saying PHP or the PHP and the SH SH send your field. Now I'm saying SH is 30. How can you insert the record? I'm saying builder. And now I'm saying insert. It takes only one parameter for now because you have the table, so that's why you don't spec you don't need to specify the tables. Now I'm saying user provide only one. It will give you the boolean. So now I'm saying it's query or its result. If you want um, this bad boy, so go to the page, refresh the page. Okay, it's fine. Refresh the database. You have added one record. Make sure we have not specified this bad boy. So that's why it's using the null. So by default, uh, because it's, it's not the required field. Okay, in this way, you can add the data okay if you have multiple records and you want to add with a single query for suppose if you are if you have a form and you are sending the data as an array from your html to your server uh, so how can you do that if you are not familiar with this step just see how i am inserting the record we will discuss about this one in our later lectures but for now 
I am saying I have the I have the data so this is the data and here I have another array so this is the associative array make sure comma separate and now I am saying s id sorry s name equals to make sure sexy comma separate this is s subjects make sure I am saying java comma separate and the age s age is 40 make sure comma separate now I am going to copy this bad boy I am going to comment bad boy like this now I have three records sexy I am saying mark and he is learning the jquery is age is 30 now I am saying John Alex and I am saying he is learning the ajax and the age is 25 so now as you can see you have three records so this is one associative array second associative array third associative array but these associative arrays available in this array so provide this but in this time it's not the i'm going to comment this one i'm saying builder it's now insert bash it's now insert bash provide this here it will give you the boolean true or false now go to the page refresh the page three record inserted so now go to the page refresh the page as you can see you have inserted three records so using insert badge you can insert three records or three or more than three records hi guys i'm shazad and uh, welcome in coding nighter for world today is we gonna discuss about the update and also the update bash method from the query builder we have discussed about the several methods from the query builder in our previous lectures okay okay guys so in this way you can use uh, the update and also the update bash method from the query builder so i hope guys you are enjoying our series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you never miss any update and please do share our courses and also the videos with your friends so thank you for watching